Culture, visionaire of the Fifth Realm Group. Fifth Realm, say woo well now. Former member of the Brick City Choir. He has two songs to his name, Forever, and Words Are Not Enough. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, with me on stage, the ministry of Michael Umor. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can we give God worship? I did a lot of things. 
Please, can we remove the echo? Thank you. Um, but as I got out of school, I entered NYC, and a lot of things happened, and it dawned on me that the God I thought I knew, I didn't really know him as I thought I did. I left school, I had battled with addictions, I had battled with so many things, and when the activities are going on, when everything is, 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 is moving, you think, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm high up there in the spiritual realm. But NYSC, just this, I've just spent how many months, six or eight months doing, he has really taught me a lesson. That the God I thought I knew, I didn't know him as much. And the addictions that I felt I had gained the victory over, came back, and I started battling with them again. That was when I had to tell God, God, you have to show yourself strong. No religion, but I need to know you. I need to know who God is. Not for activities, not for religion, not to follow a trend but to actually know Jesus.
follow Jesus. I am decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I was born into a Christian family so that is what it should be like I'm no longer serving God because my father is a pastor I'm serving God because I've encountered him and a lot of us need to get to that point enough of religion enough of waking up in the morning coming out to pray and you don't even know why you are praying a lot of you have prayed certain prayers and you look for the results and you don't see anything. The theme of this program is in his presence. In his presence there is liberty, but yet some of us are enslaved to sin. In his presence there is healing, but yet some of us are sick. In his presence there is salvation, but yet some of us As Christians, I've gotten, I've gotten so, 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 so comfortable with, with mediocre things, things that we pray. We are used to not getting answers to our prayers. We are used to it, but not anymore. Because I'm tired of the status quo. It's gotta be. More than this, hey. it's gotta be more, gotta be more, it's gotta be more than this. Cause desperate people do desperate things, and we're pressing in. More. It's gotta be more.
satisfied. A lot of us are thinking God has raffle tickets. That if it does not happen well, we can't wait. We pray, pray. One day, two days, three days. Okay, maybe it's not the will of God. We've gotten so used to when people die. We say, God knows best. What? How powerless has the church become? there is fullness of joy yet some of us here are depressed we claim to be carriers of his presence yet our cosmates laugh at us to scorn say this God you are serving it's gotta be more say it's gotta be more it's gotta be more
but liberty is knocking at the door and men refuse to answer God is still giving you time God is giving you time come on to him all ye who are weary and heavy laden for the rest of you who have been in this situation I want you to begin to lift up your mouth and begin to speak in tongues over these ones. We must sing. We must sing. His fullness. His fullness. Say we must sing. We must sing. His fullness. His fullness. Say I must sing. I must sing. His fullness. His fullness. Oh, say I must
in the name of Jesus. Chest pain. You, you, have, you have severe chest pain. It's not asthma. It's just a severe chest pain. The Spirit of the Lord breathes through you now in the name of Jesus. You are not ready to let go of the life you're currently living to accept the life of Jesus. I refuse, I very much refuse by the help of the Holy Spirit to be the anchor of this program and I'll let you go back the same way. I refuse it. I refuse that you were in Jesus but somehow you found yourself amongst friends that have drawn you into the world. I refuse that you go with those same friends. I'd rather that you go back with Jesus. 
I'm not calling you out, but wherever you are, I want you to, from your heart, sing this song with me. Everybody will sing it, but you, you know yourself. From wherever you are, just dedicate your life. If you've never given, give your life. 